A Long Island woman who beat breast cancer now competes as the only woman in national baseball tournaments. CBS News' Natalie Dudridge has her story of resilience and determination. That's a Baseball enthusiast and nurse educator, 60 year old Kathy Pasinka, says when she was diagnosed with breast cancer five years ago, it came totally out of left field. Devastated. Um, totally blindsided. There was, I have no family history. I take good care of myself. She immediately stepped up to the plate and chose to undergo a double mastectomy. It was a success, she says, thanks to her incredible medical team. As we interviewed her, Pasinka's reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Mark Smith, surprised her with a visit. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, I'm so happy to see you! Dr. Smith and Pasinka bonded over their love of baseball. He was a college player who switched gears to become a surgeon to save lives. He performed the latest microsurgical breast surgery on Pasinka. With the older techniques, she probably wouldn't even be able to do a sit-up, let alone get out on the ball field and do everything that she's doing right now. We're not only able to restore their health, but their sense of well-being and feeling whole again. She kind of came out as a new person. She wanted to do more things. Pasinka's successful surgery and recovery gave her the confidence to pursue a dream training and playing with the pros at Mets Fantasy Camp. Pasinka started training with former New York Met Nelson Figueroa. When you're dealt uh, a blow like that, you know, life can be going just perfect and all of a sudden something like cancer um, comes into your family and it's how you deal with that. And now she's gotten good enough, she even plays in the Mets Fantasy Camp tournaments. And I was the only woman that played there. So it was, a, it was a big accomplishment for me to get there and to be able to play. I made a couple of really good hits. She's also had some big blows. She took a hit to the forehead with a fly ball and a pitch to the elbow. Pasinka's had many obstacles along the way, including endometrial cancer a year later, which she also beat. Turning 60, proving to women that you can take a scary diagnosis, get it again, another diagnosis a year later and come through better than you were before. Pasinka says with the right team and determination, even the toughest battles life throws at us can be conquered. On Long Island, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. She's amazing. Yeah, good for her.